friends and complete strangers held a vigil for a little boy. On Saturday morning, first responders recovered the body of Shalom Lawson from a pond. Crews found Shalom's body after he wandered away from a family gathering on Friday. Today, we spoke to Shalom's father. He started with a crowd around a grieving dad who just wanted to talk about his son. We did not give up on Shalom. And he talked about his little boy, Shalom, an eight-year-old who carried a big smile. He was a kid who was diagnosed with autism. But that did not keep him from enjoying his life. When Shalom was born, Shalom was a very, very joyful. Even at the hospital, all the nurses were happy, proud. He's like an angel. <laughs> See, Shalom and his family are from Louisville, Kentucky. They came up this week to Brownsburg to visit family. Beyond that, they were surrounded by strangers. But it was some of those outsiders that pitched in to search for Shalom. It didn't matter if you was from Avon, Brownsburg, wherever you was from, black, white, what religion it was, it didn't matter no. because of Shalom. Yes. The crowd gathered and prayed for the family when the father couldn't say anymore. Pray. May Shalom never be forgotten because he lives in us. It is in Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. amen. And after the prayer was done, they prayed again, this time around Shalom's hurting mother. And before the crowd dispersed, Shalom's dad had something he wanted to say to those who call Central Indiana home. We thank everybody, the journalists, the police, service, the community members, everybody, everybody, all of you here. We are just saying thank you for being so grateful, being loving, for the love that you show us. We thank you so much. And may God bless you all. Thank you. Very tough moments to watch there. Now, funeral arrangements for Shalom have not been released. There is a GoFundMe page created to help with the family and funeral expenses. We have a link to that page on our page at wishtv.com.